with Crystal Palace taking on Arsenal. Arsenal winning the game by two goals to nil. Martinelli would open the scoring in the 20th minute. Arsenal then rode their luck. However, a late own goal after a Saka shot saw Arsenal take all three points and I suppose go top of the table as well. For more on this, let's welcome in, shall we? Frank LaBeouf and Donna Hutchinson are with us. Donna, overall, 2-0 flatter Arsenal, is that fair? I think it is fair because I think you're right, Dan, in your analysis there where they were sort of hanging on at about the hour mark. I thought they were really lively first 20 minutes. I thought Jesus looked incredibly sharp after the three seasons that he's had. And then all of a sudden you can sort of, the lads will know, you get to, you've done all your pre-season work, you get to about an hour, you start to blow, you start to feel it. Uh, and then Crystal Palace, I thought, had a good little spell. And then the, the girl, he owned goal, the second goal killed them really then. From Arteta's point of view, Saliba played well, new signings, Zinchenko, Jesus, as I said, looked really sharp. You sit there on a Friday night, that's why the TV companies picked the game, because they smelt an upset, they smelt really. Palace could have nicked points off Arsenal, so Arteta sleeping well tonight after a 2-0 win, clean sheet. Yeah, very much so, Stevie, yeah? Yeah, considering how badly they started last season, yep. um, getting the win, regardless of how you play, is probably the most important thing. Uh, I thought they were the best side. Uh, there wasn't much in it, which kind of tells me that they're not a top four side. Yes, they're better than Palace, who are a mid-table team, right? And they're only just better than Palace, so it kind of looks as though, certainly judging from this game, we're kind of going to get the same Arsenal as we got last year. A team that will do well at times, but ultimately won't get in the top four. Not not on this performance. Saliba looked good at the back, Frank. Yeah, they did. Well, we have to say that Ramsdale made two very good saves, one in the first half and the second one with Eze, where I think Eze should have done better. Uh, but uh, overall, yes, I found Saliba very well settled with Gabriel uh, in, the, in the central defence. And uh, we have to see if, if uh, White is really in good position on the, on the right, and, uh, right hand side. But I have to say that Zichenko brings something different, that mm. Tierney will see... Uh, how was Arteta deals with, uh, with the two of them. Uh, but I found, yeah, defensively that they were already spot on, much better than last season, for sure. So for me, it was, uh, yeah, a fair result, I think. What would you give Gabriel Jesus, mark out of 10, on his debut? Um, I think you're looking at an eight and a half. I thought he was exceptional. Wow. Um, I thought he looked really sharp. He was a nightmare for the Palace defenders, closing them down. He was... A little bit unlucky when he'd done some good work in the second half and he played it into Martin Odegaard, who then tried to play it to Martinelli instead of shooting. So, you know, the minutes that he's got in the bank leading up to this game, it's all about the first Premier League game because you are still blowing. You can do all the hard work you want. The lads will tell you. When you go into that first Premier League game, it is tough. And he looked really, really good. I thought when they got him the ball, he looked good. No. He, he kind of disappeared out of the game, but I think that was more to do with the fact that his team couldn't get him the ball. We saw right from the get-go, Arsenal were, were fantastic out of the block. Yeah, really good. Uh, and Jesus looked like... just <laughs> He looked as though he was going to do something. Every, every time he got near the ball, he looked as though he was going to do something. So the amount of time that he spent on the ball, when he was on the ball, he looked really good. Yeah. But they're going to have to get him a lot more of the ball. That's, that's the big question. Frank? Yeah, well, I wouldn't give a nine and a half, you know, for to Jesus because he really disappeared the second half for me. But he, we have to be, I would say, fair, fair in a way that uh, is the beginning of the season. And I agree with the guys. The first half, he was outstanding. He should have scored, you know, when he dribbled, made an nutmeg, you know, in the first chance that he had, first chance that he had. It, it, it made the difference when he was sharp physically, and it says a lot about. Uh, the, the fitness of the players, they're not ready yet. It's why maybe Arsenal went down a little bit and Crystal Palace mm. came back up. But, uh, but overall, you know, Gabriel Jesus showed already the talent that he has and what he can bring to the Gunners, for sure. Stevie's saying, Don, that this sort of performance shows you why Arsenal won't make the top four. Do you get his point? No, I think Stevie's been a tad harsh because, you know, when you play that first game, Dan, it is hard. You're away from home. You know the opposition. Palace are a good side and they can stick it on you. They've got some fantastic players who've got loads of pace. I don't think I'd judge the whole season on this one performance because all you want is a win. You want a clean sheet. Got that. Saliba played well. Zinchenko played well. Thomas Partey 
is critical. They've got to keep him fit. Keep him fit, they've got a right chance. So you go away from home on a Friday night and you stick three points on the board with a 2-0 win and a clean sheet. I think Stevie was a little bit harsh there, if I'm honest. Have you got them finishing top four then, Don? Have you changed your mind? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, fifth. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> you walked into that one, Don. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, of course, the game that kicks off the uh, Premier League season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.